There's an art supply that I've been wanting to try for over a year. Today's the day. So there is an art supply that you probably already know I am obsessed with. Let me just get it out of my new pencil case. Yeah, if you've been with me for a while, you've probably seen this be used a lot of times. That is my gold leaf marker. But today, we are trying a copper leaf marker. Let's just open it up here. Look at this beauty. So this has been in my basket of supplies to try on a day that I feel inspired, like today. So let's just jump in. Whoa, it sounds different than this one. I have my doubts now. All right, I have various different papers that we can try. Some regular white watercolor paper. This brown craft paper. This toned gray. And of course, this really cool black watercolor paper. Let's try them. I imagine the first thing I'm gonna have to do is activate this. Whoa, it's almost like rose gold. Whoa. Look at the shine. That is nice. I'm gonna compare it to my gold marker. Well, I do think my gold leaf marker still puts it to shame, but it's still pretty. First, let's do a little testing on some gray tone paper. And I think here we're going to touch up an old piece with copper accents. So like her earrings, let's see what we can do. And then, ooh, we could give her some rings. I'm thinking some cool bows in her hair. That is so stinking cute. Oh my. And then I think like a little necklace chain. Like that. That is beautiful. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell that there's smaller accents because I'm so distracted by the bows, but yes. I am pretty sure this paper here is like 10 years old. It's very old. However, I think it would pair nicely with some copper leaf marker. <gasps> Whoa. We should try a Zen Tangle with this. Let's do it. Ooh, do you wanna see something satisfying? I have been saving like all of this. <sighs> we should rip it off. Am I able to do this? Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Classic Mira, getting sidetracked again. Look at this though, it's like a long, thin sketchbook. It's really hard to see this, but it looks really sweet. Oh, look at that so far. Okay, moment of truth. Oh my word. This is so incredibly reflective. Okay, I am really digging this marker. I think it's more like rose gold though. It's a little too pink, I would say, to be copper. 
but I will still title this video Copper Leaf Marker because, you know, that's what the marker says it is. Now, maybe it will show up less pink on the black paper. So let's do some fun art. Let's try that, okay? You see the hidden scene in here, by the way? Let me know if you see it. For the next one, let's bust out some acrylic gouache. I think we should do like a painting and then copper it up, you know? Now I have this really cute holiday card and I think I want to do something sort of inspired by that, but with my own twist, obviously. So let's, let's just take this black paper here. Mm-hmm. Wow, she is thick. I didn't realize how thick this paper was. Whew, give me some nervousness trying to rip that out. For some reason, we are being fun and festive in this video, so I'm gonna use this glittery washi tape to block things in. Oh, how satisfying. This is gonna be a smaller painting, by the way. I kind of want that black border along the edges. What a fun painting border. I need paintbrushes. I have some crusty brushes and they need to be uncrustified in 2021. Yeah, I also have this crusty palette, but not gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna do a little skyline thing for a sec. I actually used to do a lot of fun little Copenhagen sorts of paintings. If you dig back on my Instagram, they might still be there. However, I haven't done them in a while. Oh my goodness, I cannot do a straight line today. Why? Okay, how about a fun little mint house? Now, if you're wondering where the copper leaf marker comes into play, it is coming soon. And with testing the supply, I didn't want to just swatch it and go, you know? I wanted to do a piece where I fully intended to do accents with that marker. Okay, we are getting closer to doing the copper, but first, got some stuff to do. I should have thought through that snow before I started doing the next part. All right, now we just have to do doors, details, and then the copper marker. Let's do some snow real quick up here with the white. Probably a little bit of this for the buildings. We'll do some of the, maybe the doors this color. And the, the red building can have a cool mustard colored door as well. Now we're gonna do some color borrowing and we're gonna do a red door on the green building. Okay, I need to do a door there. I don't know what color to do, hmm. So now comes the part where we use the copper leaf marker. Ooh, I am so excited to see how this works. Let's see. Okay, so the thing that I want to do is mostly just snowflakes. Ooh, you know what would be cool? One of these doors should be copper. We're gonna do this one. That will be so pretty. Okay, now we have to do snow all over the place. Oh yeah, I wanted to do cute faces on the clouds too. Moment of truth, are you ready for this? First, let's peel the tape. Very satisfying, very satisfying. 
Here's the gold leaf. I think the door is definitely the most noticeable thing, but there are like the window sills and some of the snowflakes kind of glisten. I am super, super happy with how this came out. I like this because the copper is not overpowering in this piece. So it's nice and subtle and classy, but I do have to say, if I had to choose between one of these gold or copper leafing markers, you know, it would, it would still be my baby. This gold leaf marker here, right here, is the most pigmented, most metallic, beautiful metallic marker I've ever used. And if you've never seen me use it, you can just travel back on my channel. It appears in like half my videos. <laughs> Alrighty, well thank you so much for watching. This is my last video of 2020. So to end this year on a good note, if you made it this far, let me know something that you are looking forward to in 2021. Also side note, I didn't realize how much art we actually did in this video but this was actually really fun. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Alrighty, I hope you have a good day. Bye.